VNAV, or vertical navigation, on the Pilatus PC-12NG Apex-equipped aircraft is a valuable tool which can be used during all phases of flight. The VNAV function calculates, displays, and provides flight guidance to a vertical profile or path. This video contains an overview of VNAV on the Pilatus PC-12NG including an introduction to the VNAV modes and rules of operation. For an operational description of VNAV, refer to the videos on VNAV climbs, descents, and approaches. When the FMS-coupled VNAV option is installed on the aircraft, the FMS supports five VNAV modes, V-Path, V-Speed, V-Select, V-Altitude, and VGP or Vertical Glide Path mode. VNAV provides the FMS with guidance to control the aircraft to follow an altitude profile based on the altitude constraints defined in the flight plan. The altitude constraints may be entered by the pilot or specified in the navigation database. VNAV climbs are flown using the V-Speed mode. When the V-Speed mode is active, the aircraft pitches to maintain a selected airspeed. The power setting will determine the climb rate. When the aircraft is climbing or descending towards the VNAV altitude target, the V-Select mode is displayed in white to indicate it is armed. The VNAV altitude target and bug are shown when the active vertical mode is V-Speed, V-Select, V-Path, or V-Altitude, and the primary navigation source is FMS. The readout and bug are cyan when the active mode is V-Speed or V-Path. They are amber when the current altitude is within 1,000 feet of the target altitude. When the aircraft is within 200 feet of the target altitude, the target and bug turn magenta. They are also magenta when the aircraft captures the target altitude prior to the altitude in the pre-selector. Once the aircraft levels off at the FMS altitude target, the active mode changes to V altitude. The FMS transitions from V-altitude to V-speed mode automatically when the next altitude restriction in the climb is an FMS target altitude. For this to happen, the altitude preselector must be set at or above the next altitude restriction. The default mode for VNAV descents is V-path. V-path creates a vertical path to a waypoint by calculating a top of descent point. This results in a constant flight path angle from the top of descent point to the active waypoint altitude constraint, also known as the bottom of descent. The descent angle can be either FMS computed, pilot entered, or specified in the navigation database. VPath uses FMS position data and barometric altitude to determine the position of the aircraft in relation to the vertical descent path. Prior to beginning the descent, the altitude preselector must be set to a lower altitude. If the altitude preselector has not been set to a lower altitude prior to reaching the top of descent, the reset altitude select message will appear. Pushing the VNAV button will arm the VPath mode. One minute prior to reaching the top of descent point, Look and listen for the vertical track alert and the vertical deviation scale on the PFD. The vertical track alert indicates that the aircraft is approaching an FMS vertical track profile that requires an altitude change. The autopilot automatically captures the path and the aircraft will begin a descent. The speed should be controlled by adjusting the power. When the aircraft levels off at the FMS altitude, a new top of descent is calculated by the FMS for the next crossing restriction. The aircraft continues descending to meet the remaining FMS crossing restrictions as long as VNAV remains armed. While VPATH maintains a calculated descent angle to the altitude constraint, V-Speed mode pitches for the selected speed until the FMS altitude is reached. V-Speed does not maintain a constant descent path. 
V-Speed mode is armed by pushing the VNAV button and then the speed button. All VNAV modes except VGP honor the altitude set in the preselector. So if the preselector is set above an FMS target altitude, the aircraft will level off at the preselected altitude. The vertical direct to option creates a path from the current altitude to the selected altitude constraint. Similar to VPath mode, vertical direct to can only be used for descents. This function can be used to start an early descent to an altitude constraint prior to reaching the FMS calculated top of descent point. It can also be used for a late descent when the top of descent calculated by the FMS has already been passed. Once VPath captures, the aircraft descends at the angle required to meet the altitude constraint. If the angle required to meet a descent restriction is greater than 8 degrees, an FMS message is shown. Vertical Glide Path, or VGP mode, is generally used to fly RNAV approaches to a decision altitude. However, it can be activated for any RNAV approach. VGP mode is similar to VPath mode. However, when VGP mode is active, the aircraft will continue a descent while ignoring the altitude in the preselector similar to the way the ILS glide slope mode behaves. This allows the pilot to set the missed approach altitude in the preselector during an approach. For more details, refer to the video on VGP mode. To fully understand the VNAV function, there are additional rules and guidelines that need to be covered. Only one lateral mode and one vertical mode can be active at any time. However, one lateral mode and up to two vertical modes can be armed simultaneously. The message FMS Perf VNAV unavailable will be displayed if VNAV is selected and no altitude has been set in the preselector, or if all the performance initialization data has not been entered. FMS must be the selected nav source and LNAV must be engaged for VPath or VGP mode to be available. All other modes can be engaged without LNAV. VNAV can be used to climb or descend in a present position hold. VPath angles range from 1 degree to 8 degrees, with a default set at 3 degrees. As a general rule, VNAV keeps the aircraft as high as possible for as long as possible. Vertical navigation is a valuable tool that can reduce pilot workload by simplifying vertical planning during all phases of flight.